All right, everybody, welcome to Virtual Bourbon. My name is Steve Akeley. We are completing our project, which has been a three-part project over three months, where we've been working on getting the best value bourbon, under $15. So it should be an exciting conclusion. We've done two events where we took six, narrowed it down to three. Those three uh, moved on to the finals. We did another event where we took six, pulled three out of there, and those three are also in the finals. So those final six will compete. Uh, the scores that they got leading into that are thrown out. So they are going to be getting scores tonight based on this group. So uh, the one that uh, had the highest score going into this, I'll share all of that information at the end. Uh, I will, it'll be fun to see if these rankings change at all, because we do have the rank all the way from, from 12 down to one right now. But of course, we're going to be doing this process again, and those final six could change. The, 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 the bottom six, of course, aren't going to change. We're not trying those. So should be fun. The process is going to be exactly the same that we've done to this point. We're going to uh, run through all six of them together. We'll talk about nosing notes as a group. We'll talk about tasting notes, finish those type of things. We'll move on, go through all of the six. Once we get through all that, you'll have some private work time where you can go back through, taste them, and then rank them. So you're going to be ranking one being your favorite, six down to your least favorite of the group tonight. So that's what we're doing tonight. And then uh, afterwards, we'll go through the big reveal. With that, we're ready to get started with you so, and we'll go ahead and pour V while we're doing that. So V will be sitting out and ready for us when we're, when we're ready to do that. So we'll pour V as we start you can do it. drinking our U. Okay, starting with U, U being the letter U, not U, let me go. What do we think on this one? It'll be fun to go through these and see how they compete. Everyone kind of felt like the second set was better than the first set, so it'll be interesting to see if they perform that way. Yeah, a little weak. I was gonna say a little weak. Chat up. All right, anything on the nose anybody like to share? This is not bad. Like a little corn. On the taste, anything? Fresh almond, someone says. Chris. All right. What else, Bill? What are you thinking on this one as you taste this? Like high rise, kind of fifteen degrees. High rise, so spicier one. Okay. It's definitely got some oomph to it. It's got a nice finish, right? What sort of other notes? Justine, help me. A little out heat. Oh. A little, for me, a little heat on the finish, but yeah. A little heat on the finish, okay. Justine, what are you thinking? I don't know, it kind of tastes like biscuits. Like biscuits? Like a buttermilk biscuit. Okay. I don't know why I have that. Okay. Evan? I know Evan likes to do the tasting notes and all that. What are you what are you thinking, man? Yeah, I'm definitely getting something spicy. Um it, it oddly, while it heats up, it disappears very quickly, I feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I can't pull anything particular out of the nose. Like, I've been going at the nose, and it, it just kind of disappears. A bit of tobacco on the tongue, but buttery too. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm not the only one that, that gets that. I mean, I just get alcohol. <laughs> uh -huh. uh not a lot of flavor. Uh, do you get the spice? Do you get a little bit of that oak barrel? Um, but mostly just kind of corn mash. A little corn mash, okay. No, there's two different of that with corn. Paul Epp, you, you're usually the one that tells us if you like it or dislike it. What are, you, what are you thinking on this one? Is this a like or dislike here? Opening it. I'm opening it. I, uh, He's running away. I'm He's running, running late. late. My workers just left. Okay. 
Okay, you're okay. Which one are we working on? We're starting on you. So we're literally at the first one here, so. Okay. So. All right. All right. And you happen just to be the last one I'm un unwrapping. That's how <laughs> that's how it works. That's exactly how all that stuff works. That's, that's life right there. Okay. So from the Murph, this is pretty good here. Fairly typical oak, vanilla, spice, not bad at all for a bottom shelfer. I think that, that should be the official uh, summary. It's, it's pretty good. I think it deserves its place where it's at. Where it ends up in this, this six, I don't know, but it feels, to me, this one feels like it should be in the finals. So. It seems like it does its job. Yeah. Yeah. Happy sipping it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could you could sip this one. There's there's nothing. So that's always a, a big. I think that's a big deal for a bottom shelfer. If you're willing to sip it, uh, that says a lot because there's a lot of those, and we've worked through some of those already. Where it's like there's no way I could just sit there and pour a glass of this and drink it and have another one. Uh, you're thinking about what mixers you can throw in there to cover up its flavor. Exactly. Yeah. Tim, what are you thinking here? I agree with Murph as well. Uh, I get that. I think, and also Evan, you're, you're absolutely right where it's, it, it hits you first and it fades away. And I get, I get like a, like a, almost like a burnt toffee or something like that at the back end of it. There's something there, but it's, it's like a little water would smooth all that, all the, the little, a couple drops of water probably smooth out all those rough edges and it'll just be very plain, simple, right across the board, typical bourbon i wouldn't it's not a mixer because it's going to get lost immediately i think just a little bit of water like a couple ice cubes or something like that small ice cubes would be done and then it rounds out everything and it's it's a solid solid offering okay all right anybody else want to weigh in on this one before we move on okay again you guys will get a chance to come back to these you can try them as we go through them it's good once you go through them once to go back through them before you start your rankings so we're going to put that one aside Ask that you pour W in preparation for that one being the next one. Uh, we'll be talking about V in just a second here. So get your, get your W ready to go. Okay. Okay. Now? Yeah, like banana. Now you can pick up uh, V. V is the one that we're focusing on now. We'll be talking about. Okay. Move it. This is one of the buttery ones from last time. Mm -hmm. Buttery, yes. Smells like it's going to be smooth. True. Doesn't make sense, but. <laughs> no, no, that's a bourbon thing, I think. Yeah. Smells like um, caramel popcorn, too, kind of. No finish. Yeah. Well, let's take a taste of this one, see where we're at. Not, not, definitely not as hot as the last one. Yeah. yeah. Softer. Softer. Mm -hmm. Weaker. Weaker. Sweeter. <clears throat> Sweeter. Sweeter. All right. Subtle hint of citrus on the nose. Orange or wheat cherry. Popcorn jelly belly. Look at that. That's the best jelly belly, by the way. Popcorn jelly belly. <laughs> it, it, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That one's that one's the king of jelly belly. That's a good one. Daniel's getting a banana on the nose. Okay. It's always surprising how often you do get banana. There's some where it seems to come up a lot. All right. Danny Kennard, I don't think we've talked to you yet. What are you thinking on this one? Danny. Danny. I'm here. Okay. 
Oh, I think they heard me. Really, I haven't yeah, made my mind up. I... Just can't make your mind up on this one? No. Okay. Okay. Well, what are the Robinsons thinking here? Team Robinson. Uh, it's, it's got a, a, a mid, mid mouth heat to it, but it, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Not much finish. Short on the finish. Yeah. I would agree with that. I, mine's getting all the tingle sensations across the side of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, but it's yeah, like in yeah. the mid. In the middle. Right, all, all in the mid and then nothing. Yeah. Okay. Nose smells better than the taste. Mm -hmm. I agree. Tony, what are you thinking on this one? I don't really know on this one. That, yeah, you're right. The nose tastes or smells a little better than the taste. Um, I get a bit of caramel and oak. Um, I kind of agree that it goes away quickly and it's okay. It's okay. Just okay. All right. A legend, I don't think we've talked to you yet. What are your thoughts on this one as you're, as you're tasting it? I think I'll have to agree with the, you know, caramel and oak and um, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Like Bob Whitletch. Yeah. But I think I'd be interested to see what the age is on that when we finally have the reveal compared to the first one. It seems like there's a little more age on this one in the barrel, which rounds it out a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't be long, but it's 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 going to be it's probably going to be a little more older than the other one. Okay, Mr. Whitlatch, what are you thinking? Is there there's nothing about it that strikes me positively. Okay, it's just harsh and nasty. Harsh and nasty. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, I don't think that's going to make their website uh, promoting this one. So. No, harsh and nasty. Okay. All right. On that note, let's let's move on to uh, to W. But before we do that, let's pour X so it's we'll be ready to go. So we're pouring X. Going to talk about W though. All right. Thank you for not making the lid so tight this time. I could actually open it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did better. I did better. You did. Okay. Okay. That's good. It's the same bottle manufacturer, but I noticed they send different lids, so I'm blaming it on the lids. So sometimes the, maybe the lids are easier. But Okay. I only needed a tool for one of them, so. Okay, all right. W, we're talking about W now, so. All right. What are we thinking on the nose on this one? Cotton candy on the nose from Daniel. So far, it's the winner. So far, it's the winner, says Paul. Yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, it's the best of the three. In Paul's mind, it's the leading horse right now. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think on this one? Mm -hmm. Definitely the best smelling one. I smell like sugar or butter. Okay. Sugar kind of goes in line with the cotton candy thing. It's basically just spun sugar. So, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of banana in there. I don't know. No one has said that, but that's what I'm. Mm. But I do get the cotton candy too. All right. Let's give this one a taste and see what we got here. All right, Karen, what are you thinking? I still like, um, I think I like the first one better, you, better. Okay. 
I think it, that one seems a little more complex. This one, I don't know. It's a little one note. A little one note for you? Okay. Okay. I like it to have a little more spice to it or something. Yeah, this one's not quite as spicy as that. The first one was definitely a little spicier. Mm -hmm. Green apple on the nose. Okay. Yeah. Trey, how about you, man? Um, I wrote down brown sugar. Okay. Um, like really rich, full of flavor. I'd say this is my favorite of the three so far. Okay. Okay. You're joining Paul up with us being your leader so far. Paul Russo. We haven't heard from him yet. He's had the camera off. Yeah, I like this one. Um, I'm not sure if you or this one is better for me yet, but I think this one we described as vanilla Tootsie Roll last time. Vanilla Tootsie Roll. Okay. Mm. I should see if I can probably get one. Right. Paul thinks he's got this one. He knows what it is. I don't know what it is. I think I know what letter it was last right. time. Right, <laughs> right. We did an event yesterday. You were pretty good at guessing these things blind, though. So, well, we'll do, we'll do some of that, too, um, when we get to the end, just for fun. It's hard with this many. I mean, it's a lot, but, uh, yeah. I'm getting uh, sweet tarts from Evan Van Skoik. Bob, what are you thinking here? Get a little bit of uh, just heat on um, kind of on the mid palate. Mm -hmm. That sticks around for a while too. That mid palate yeah. forward too. You feel that where it pulls forward, it works its way towards the front instead yeah. of you would expect. Which yeah. I found really interesting on this one more than anything. Yeah. I think the finish is interestingly structured, how it all fades away, the grains break down. Yeah, yeah. Not as much as on you, but certainly a lot more than on the last one. Correct. Okay. This one's certainly more balanced. More balanced? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Of the three, I, I think it's the most balanced. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Let's go back to Bob Whitlatch. He was he, he lashed out at the last one. Did we, uh, did we make a comeback with this one, Bob, or what are you thinking? Yeah, you've redeemed yourself with this one. Mm -hmm. Much nicer. Love the big full nose on this. Okay. It was. It just did have the best nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Murph. What are you thinking on this one? I mind if you want to go with your your. I'm gonna taste them. I I like this one. All right. It's. Uh, I think of the of these three. It's. I I would call it second. Second. Okay. Okay. So, it's in your top three out of the first three. So that's good. <laughs> it is good. It's nice. Thanks. Congratulations to whoever <laughs> made this. Yeah. It says a lot. All right. Last one. I'll, I'll call on Danny and then, uh, then we'll move on to our next one. Danny, what are you thinking? I'm getting the, the sweeter end of it and everything. So, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I do like it. I see. So. Okay. Okay, is this a cocktail bourbon or is this a sipping bourbon? Or both? I'd do both. Okay, that's, that's good. Hey, man, if you can pick up something under 15 bucks that you're willing to sip, I always think that's a win. So, all right, good deal. I'm gonna... Good drink. Okay, let's pour Y. Be prepared to talk about X. Pour and Y. But we're going to go back and we're going to talk about X. The first two I did with you guys, I did them totally blind. Here, I've got the notes right here. So it's interesting to me to see these, what they are this time. Uh, before, I was just like a participant. This time, it's different. It's funny to see comments. We don't know what it is. All right, on the nose on this one. Big League Chew Bubblegum. Big League Chew. All right. I liked butterscotch candy. Butterscotch candy. Mm -hmm. Fruitier, lighter, noser. I back to a baseball field when I sniffed this one the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel and Karen, the, banana. Reminds me of the old fruit stripes bubblegum. Fruit stripe bubblegum. Mm -hmm. like banana, banana, banana. Justine says vanilla. So we're getting a lot of different things on this one. Well, for me, this is the basement shelf. The basement shelf. Like, yeah. Not you the don't like this one. Clear down to the basement. 
It's, it's even lower than the bottom shelf. It's actually in the basement for, for Paul Epp. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. A lot of I, I, overall pretty good on the on the other than Paul who didn't like it. Sweet and thin on the palate from Tony. Thank you. Not much. Not much on the palate that I got. No. Watery. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting if you put it side by side with um, <clears throat> why it's noticeably lighter yeah. in color as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is the perfect color? Yeah. yeah. Why is lighter? X. That's a little bit of a disappointment on X. After I thought nosing was pretty solid there, but taste. I've got stiff competition this week. Yeah. True. Yeah, it seemed, a little flat it seemed pretty solid on the nose and then just yeah, nothing. Facing just the best of the best, yeah. Disappointing. Mm hmm Yep. The only flavor that lingers is a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah. What 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 flavor finishes on is it oak or what is it that finishes on the back of your palate? It just hangs there. <laughs> I think that's usually the wood. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it just it just and it's not good. Not good. Oh. Formaldehyde. <laughs> Asbestos. Yeah. Asbestos. <laughs> I mean, based on the color, it's it's likely the youth of it being in the barrel, just not. I got to put it in barrel. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Bill, what yeah. do you think on this one? You don't want to hear what I got to say. No, come on. Let, let's unload a few. Three samples. Well, you only got three, two? Uh, what the hell? But that's okay because I got a whole bunch of other samples and I thought, wow, this is really cool. But I drank those. <laughs> well, I did put some free ones in there for you. So, yeah. But didn't have all those apparently. So, I have um, two X and Y. Uh, that might be the same ones. Or maybe you got the opposite ones of the Robinsons. I don't know. I just did. U, X, and Y. Yeah, that's the opposite set of theirs. If you were we're just hanging out with the Robinsons tonight, you guys would be good. You're oh, relatively close. Be inspired. Yeah, trying the best I can. <laughs> All right. You're not missing much on this one. You just do better. Uh, okay. Any other notes on X before we move on to Y? Well, Bill is missing out on delicious smell. Yeah, the, the nose is good, Bill. But uh, if all he got was that, it'd be great. Right. Bill, Bill just imagine, like, you, you find a nice candle. You really enjoy the candle. But then you try to lick it, and it, it it's never going to live up to how well that candle smells. I don't lick candles. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. <laughs> very good, Evan. I like it. It's a very smooth, heated bourbon. Let's pour Z. Are you talking about why? Talking about why now? Great color. Color's good. Great color. Yeah. Color's good. Would Karen say it's the perfect color before? Yep. She's not wrong. Nice deep amber. My bottles. Than the other ones. I wonder what that means. <laughs> that one's more full than the other ones? I mean, there's more in here. <laughs> I know it is. It's good. It needs to be compared to you. And mm. All right. What do you think on the nose? Weak on the nose. It was better than W, right? I would do. Says Rob with, uh, Bob Whitlatch. He's too bad. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really care about the top three kind of nose. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar, mild. Okay, maybe this is the opposite of the other one. So, yeah, it's better better on the taste than the nose. Yeah, yeah it tastes pretty good. Yeah, and, you know, second second. Very smooth. Not much ethanol. Mm-hmm. Just wondering if that's how you, you have to organize them somehow. Yeah. 
Right, there's three blue ones, yeah. right? Um, that would make sense. Brown sugar, mild raisin, smoke. Mm -hmm. Rudy, what are you thinking on this one? The way they're organized, then the brown ones must be the second batch. I think. The I smell was pretty weak. When I did get up close, I did smell that brown sugar smell. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the taste sweet. was very potent, though. The taste was, it's kind of like the opposite of the last one. Like, it wasn't much smell. But then, you know, but the taste was pretty good. Like the spices definitely hit me in the front and the back. Mm -hmm. Peppery, yeah. Peppery, says Bob. Whitlatch. Bob Benny, what do you think of this one? All right. Casey, what are you thinking on this one here? Yeah, I'm in agreement with the weak nose. I mean, you really had to stick your nose in the glass to get anything at all. Mm -hmm. And um, but the body is really solid. It's very um, consistent all the way from start to finish. Uh, and it's got a nice, pleasant lingering sensation. You know, I get nice barrel and I get a little bit of pencil shavings, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I get brown sugar. And uh, yeah, I, I'm in agreement with everyone else on that. Okay. All right, Mr. Hey, Van. Little, oh, sorry. Oh, no, Paul up. Go ahead. Uh, to me, it's a little bit slow off the starting line. Mm -hmm. And after that, it, it gets better. It's just uh, when you first, when I first sip it, it's, uh, oh, uh, it's just, where is this? And then it, it comes in. So, Can you find it? Okay. I'll find it. Yep. Okay. All right. Evan? Yeah, um, I, I agree with the notes around peppery. It definitely hangs around a little smoky. I feel like it it stand up better in uh, a cocktail. Not sure which one. Maybe an old-fashioned it hold up well, counterbalance the, the spiciness to it. I'm thinking it's, it's probably a high rye bourbon. Huh? Then than most of these I, I guess the close i would put it in even maybe a little bit higher content than you which would have probably been like the next highest ride we tasted okay all right edith what are you thinking on this one pretty much what everybody else said okay um you know the nose you have to fall into the glass um and you do get the the peppery spice. Yeah. Can't it would be any good at all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it. Yeah. Frey, how about you, man? Yeah, I couldn't pick up anything on the nose. <laughs> I don't know if my nose is stuffy, but there was just nothing there for me. But pleasantly surprised with how like full flavor it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Full flavor, nice finish. Yeah. 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 It's it's good. It's good. All right, let's move on to our last one. This is Z. Z. This one does have a nose. This could be like Nilla wafers or something on the nose. Banana nose. Yeah, same type of thing as me. Acetone bananas. Acetone, I mean, maybe I stepped on a banana or something. <laughs> maybe stepped on a banana, yeah. Floral. Yes. Anything it smells else? like a really ripe banana to me. Really ripe, yes. It just seems a little weak. Yeah. I get honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, okay. All right, let's give it a taste. I wish I could get those. Right. Thin and watery. Yeah. And it's, it's but by far of the six so far, it feels like to me. Feels like it's 40 proof. 
<laughs> it's not. On a good day. It is not 40 proof, by the way. Uh, but yeah. that's what it feels like. It feels like it's yeah. below standard, yeah. It tastes like a good water. It'd be a good water. Um, yeah. Well, what's I mean, interesting is, you know, it might be proofed down enough to where they took out most of the unpleasant flavors, leaving mm -hmm. not much flavor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't taste anything bad if you can't taste anything at all. <laughs> yeah. Murph, what do you think here, man? Yeah, I'm with everybody else on this one. It's it's just completely thin. It's like uh it's like drinking the water that you washed out your whiskey glass with. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. There's nothing to it. It's like homeopathic bourbon. <laughs> yep. No. I will give you one credit though. The first breath in after you swallow, it, oh, I get a rush of cherries or like cherry sours. And then mm -hmm. I'm like waiting for it and then I'm like, uh, and then it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's like it's a rush of flavor and then it just automatically fades right off the bat. You feel the alcohol just burn right off and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's something there. To me, it's a cherry sour, mm. cherry type flavor right off the bat for like maybe two, three seconds, and all of a sudden it just it's watered out and it, it's gone. But yeah. Justine says it's the white claw of bourbon. <laughs> I was about to say it's like the LaCroix of bourbon. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Settle on the palate. It's not unpleasant. I agree. It's not no, unpleasant. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not bad. It's just not a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We we did try some bad ones in this uh, exercise. Oh, yeah. This is not bad. It's just no. not not uh, not championship material. Maybe it's not good enough to mix, and I'm not sure it's good enough to sip either. I don't really know yeah. what to do with it. I get nutmeg, but um, yeah, it's just bite mm -hmm. and a little bit of something, and it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, but who knows? This could be everyone's favorite. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get ready to vote here. So what we'll do next, we'll take some time here. This is free time where you guys can go back through, taste all these side by side. Again, your goal is to rank these. So if you don't have a pen and paper, you're, going to want to, you're probably going to want to get one because you're going to want to rank these one through six. Again, one is your favorite, six being your least favorite of the ones that we've tried here tonight. We'll give you some time and I'll check back in and no rush on this. Um, please give it its due diligence. I think this is an important project. Well, Bill, I'll see if I can uh, refund you on my phone. If not, I usually do all this stuff on my laptop. Let me see what I can do here. I'm not sweating, Steve. You take care of me, so. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I, man, I try to do all these things, and uh, yeah, I think I got a good system in place, but I am definitely, ne I will never claim to be perfect on this stuff. I, I try hard, but there is that room for human error. I may or may not have gotten them all. <laughs> oh, you might have gotten them all? No, I didn't. So no, it's like me setting out my thing for the. Uh, Oh, oh yeah, you, see, you believe me. If anybody knows, it should be you. You only had to set up two samples, and you got them screwed up. So you, yeah, yeah. I had to. I had to. Uh, we've got so many at the year end here. I have a second workstation, so I have um, my room here that I'm in that I podcast from. I've got all of them lined out, and then I have a second area, staging area. It's the shipping department that is out in the landing of the house, right outside the door here. So I've got two two workstations right now going, because um, we've got. Not only do we have um a lot of them but they're they're big ones you know like the mash bill number one that that's got eight samples in it so it's just a lot so to keep track of so i needed another table to work off of i think i like y better than w mm -hmm. they're gone now they, they can leave. Oh, completely. well there's almost nothing left so do, 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 do. Yeah. Right. I think you is the winner. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't care. 
If you think W is better, we go with W. W it doesn't matter. Would that be the best for you if this happens to be persistent? It'll, it'll be interesting, Steve. That, that you know, the second one we did, there was one that was a runaway winner, and it'll be yes. interesting to see if that's still the runaway winner. Correct. Uh, from, yeah, it'll be because it was, and it was so much better than everything. Yes. Do you think there could be a difference? Like, were they the same bottle that was used for all this drying? No, no. I had to get two bottles of everything because just based on the numbers. So, yeah. 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 I wonder if there could be discrepancies in bottles. I mean, if it's yeah. so large, you think it'd be the same, but I know. Right, right. These are likely not single barrels being under $15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and but there's also the last call was yeah. was yeah. talking about uh, GTS Brown, one of you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went out and got a bottle of that. Good call. Good call. Good call. JTS 14, 15 bucks. Stupid. Yeah. It's crazy. Bottle and bond. Yeah. Good call. I have that too. Yeah. Add X is my worst. Yeah. Yeah. I put X6. You, you're right, Tim. I think it was you. I think every single Binnie's I looked at had it. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, I was yeah. there again. Me that was hard. Yesterday, uh, Whiskey Wednesday up by me where all the deliveries come in. And yeah. uh, still, I mean, it's just full, a whole, a whole row of it. I'm like, and, and, you know, Steve can't get it in St. Louis. So the, you know, the, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty solid for 15 bucks. It's pretty solid. It is. It definitely is. Yeah. I can get it across. Uh, the road. Can we get, because of Illinois, I live, you know, I can, I can go to uh, just to Collinsville and grab it uh, over there. Yeah. I have access. So Christopher, we haven't heard from you. From me? Christopher. No, oh, Chris Luco. Sorry, I, I had to take a call. Um, uh, I, I'm just, just now doing Z, so um, give, give me just a second. Okay. All right. We value your uh, contribution. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We definitely do. No doubt about that. No doubt. Yeah, I've tried to line up uh, okay. three samples I have today with where they would go from the previous uh, tastings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that I've discovered that I'm better at tasting than I was at the beginning of all of this stuff. I've noticed that. Yeah, so because because yeah, at, at first you were, you know, kind of, you didn't even want to share your opinion. You're just like, I'm just new to this and all that. But uh, at this point, you're, you're are, uh, you know, kind of engaged and, and you, you, you tell us whether you like something or don't. So I think it's good. I think you're getting there. Oh, yeah. I, well, and I also, uh, even though some of these guys look pretty old, I'm uh, number 78. So I think I'm, uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, the senior of the group. And so maybe <laughs> my, uh, maybe my taste buds have sort of worn out. <laughs> I don't know about that. Never. <laughs> No, oh, Jimmy Russell is 86 now or something like that. And he seems to be doing just fine. So, yeah. Well, one of the things that this has inspired me to do is I want to find out what uh, Jerry Jeff Walker liked to drink. Uh, I've been a long time friend of his, a fan of his, and he passed a while back, but he was always mm -hmm. uh, doing his bourbon or whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, is everyone ready? Do you have your list ranked one to six? I do. Okay. Okay. Yes. What I need to do is I'm going to switch over. So if you try to get my attention by waving or something like that, I won't see you because I'm going to be on a spreadsheet here. Um, and I'm just going to go in the order that my spreadsheet is. Um, Bill, unfortunately, I'll be skipping you since you only did three. Uh, but everyone else, and if I miss someone, just let me know and we, we can add you in here. So, uh, Justine, you were first on the list. So, again, um, just share me one through six, um, your ranking. Uh, number one is W. Okay. U. Okay. Y. Okay. V. Okay. X. V. Okay. All right. All right, next up is Paul Rousseau. 
So I had U, W, Y, V, Z, X. Okay. Uh, next one I have is, uh, again, by the person that paid. Uh, it's Brianna. Is that, Trey, is that you? Yeah, my wife got me this for okay. uh, a okay. gift. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I was just trying to uh, put this in my head here, how this works. So, okay. So, Trey? Yeah, so I'm at uh, W-Y-U-Z. Hold on one second. X. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, and then X. Okay, and then V, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, uh, Bob Whitlatch. He's on mute. Bob, He's on mute. Bob, you're on mute. Again, I can't see him, so thank you for your help there, guys. I'm, Bob, there you go. I'm staring at a spreadsheet here, so. I got W at number one. Okay. U. V. Z. Okay. Y. X. V. Mm. X. Mm. Wow. He had Z in the top three and Y in the bottom. Okay. Uh, Chris Lupo. So from one to six, uh, Y, W. Hold on one second. Uh, y, okay. W. Okay. U. Okay. Z, X. Okay. Uh, this is one. Uh, Kathy Cool. I did not see Kathy. I don't think. <coughs> Kathy? You're not with us, are you? No. Okay. Kathy's not here. All right. Rudy. All right. So we got Y is number one. Okay. U. W. Okay. V. X. Okay. And then Z. Okay. All right. Edith, you're next. Fun to watch everybody else coming in. So Y is one. Okay. W is two. U is three. Okay. B is four. X is five and Z is six. Okay. All right. Good deal. Casey, you're next. Okay. I have U. Okay. W, Y, X, V, Z. Right. It seems like um, the first two times we did this, you know, there was obvious ones. And we're seeing some, some trends here, but it's a little bit more mixed up than the, the previous times I've noticed. So this is good. Next up, next up is Neil Robinson. All right. I've got... One is W. Okay. Two is Y. Okay. Three is U. Okay. Four is Z. Okay. Five is V. Okay. Six is X. All right. Melanie Robinson. Okay. One is Y. Okay. Two is W. Okay. Three is B. Okay. Four is Z. Okay. Five is U. Okay. Six is X. X. Okay. Bob Many. Uh, w. Okay. Y. Okay. U. Okay. V. X. Z. X. Z. Okay. Paul Epp. W. Okay. U. Yep. Y. V, Z, X. Okay. Tony Friend. Uh, w, Y, V, U, Z, and X. Okay. Karen and Daniel. Uh, we have U is one, uh, Y is two, W is three, 
V4, uh, Z5, and X6. Okay. Evan Van Skoik. Yeah, I've got uh, U, U, W, Y, Z, X, V. Okay, Danny. All right, I have W as one. Okay. U as two. Y as three. X as four. V is five, Z is six. Okay. All right. Next up is Legend. Okay. I have W, Y, U, V, X, and Z. <laughs> X and then Z. Okay. All right, uh, Jack is not here, right? He hasn't joined us. Tim, then. All right, Steve, I have W. Okay. Y, X, U, Z, V. <laughs> and one, okay. Did I miss anyone? Yeah, you missed me. Okay. Murphy. All right, Murph. Sorry about that, Murph. Let me pull up the spreadsheet and uh, hold on one second. Murph. Okay, you're, you're next. Go ahead, Murphy. U, Y, W, V, X, Z. X and Z. <clears throat> okay, now to give me just a second here. I'm going to... There's no ties or anything, which is nice. So I'm just gonna write this down so it's easy, easier to read. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Now you can drink bourbon and do math at the same time? <laughs> no, I can't, apparently. No. So, math is hard. Math is hard. Okay. Uh, get, get Chris to make you uh, uh, a, a computer program for it, and it'll do it in a second. Yeah. Uh, he needs to be more involved in this stuff. So, yeah. If only they had uh, like a, a spreadsheet thing where you could like enter numbers and it auto calculates. I've got that for, for regular. That, that would really accelerate the process. I, I've got that down, so don't worry about that. Yes, that is that is done, Evan. Thank you for you're the guy who only shows up for the third one, by the way. So yes, that is yeah, it, duh. That is, that is done. So yes. was I the only one? Uh I think so. I think uh -oh. so. Mm, uh, I think so. Trey, way way to join me. It's a good choice. Yeah. We we show up just for the championship. Yes. I had to avoid a lot of really bad bourbon. It, that that was actually my strategy. I was like, you guys are going to eliminate the bad ones for me so I don't have to taste them. <laughs> you got to pay. Hey, hey, Evan, game time is on time, right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> did, did you rank these, Steve? I did not. No, I did not. Because I was looking at them. You know, it's a little bit different. I wasn't, this was not, unlike the other ones, this was not a blind tasting for me. So, so. All you right. can give us our ranking at the end, or your ranking at the end. Uh, I, I, not I, didn't, the vote. I, I didn't really, I didn't really rank them though. So, uh, but okay. You can tell us how you feel about it though. Okay. All right. Uh, there I'll, is a I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I agree with you guys is, is what uh, I, I will. Uh, I like, I, I think I like up and down what you did here. I think you guys got it a hundred percent right. I think if wow. I, if I would have ranked this, by how I think they go based on, on the, the products that I know, I think I would have uh, ranked them the exact same way. Okay. Team Team makes the dream work. Work. Okay. And get this, get this. Guys, this is so pure, this thing that we did here. They were, we had them ranked 
based on uh, how they did in the preliminary rounds. Those rankings did not change. The scores changed because we have a different amount of people on, on the sessions, but the rankings are exactly the same. So as I read these down huh. from, from top to bottom, uh, they have 100% not changed. I, I, that has to tell me that we're pretty close to being right here. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. That yeah. is really cool. Am, so, I supposed to, am, I, am I supposed to trust your math? Are you supposed to what? Trust your math, your arithmetic? Uh, no. Did you do it right? I think we did okay. it right. I think we did it right. Okay, so, great. so I will say this. What I did, and uh, Chris can tell me if I did this the, the correct way. Okay. I, uh, we had two different amounts of people on the, on the first two calls. We had 20 on one call, 17 on the other. So I made 20 as the, as the benchmark. And so I divided, uh, but divided the initial scores by 17 and multiplied it by 20. So then everyone would be on the same page as we look at the first, the bottom six here. So that, that there, these scores that I'm going to share with you guys are based on if 20 people had been on both of those calls. They're, they're weighted and, correctly, I believe. I mean, again, Chris should have done all this. Next time he's going to take the lead on, on all this. Chris, what, what exactly is your job? No worries. You're good. Chris, uh, tell us about your job, though. Uh, before, because we keep mentioning you, and I don't know that everybody knows who you are. Uh, well, I don't want to take too much time away from the the, the final result. Um, uh, so, so I'm a um, department chair for a computer science and software engineering department in uh, California Polytechnic State University. It has a big emphasis on data science and quantitative reasoning. So, yes. So we're, we're, this is right in your wheelhouse. Okay. So here we are. I, I, we're going to go back and we're going to do the 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 ones that did make the cut. We're not talking about what we just did tonight. We're talking about uh, the ones that did not make the final six here. So our very bottom with a score of only 38 points, Zachariah Harris, Zachariah Harris. So that was the, the last one. Do we give these a special label like trash don't drink it? Trash don't, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> it initially was I. I don't know if, if you guys have kept track of these or anything like that, but it was I initially. In, uh, in 11th place, a C, with only 40 points was Ezra Brooks, Ezra Brooks. That one hurts. St. Louis guy, you know, Lux Co, uh, which owns Lux Road Distillers, is here in St. Louis, only scored a 40. So they were originally C. In 10th place with 48 points, original B, that was Old Crow, Old Crow. What wow. letter tonight? What's that? What letter tonight was it? It, 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 it's not tonight. These are the, all the first ones I'm sharing here are the ones that were eliminated oh. and didn't make it tonight. So they're not tonight. Uh, the next one at ninth place, the original H was cabin still with 52 points. Cabin still cabin still. Yes. Um, next up uh, and eighth place uh, was the original number uh, letter L with 55 points was Ancient Age, so from Buffalo Trace. Ancient Age. And the last one, the one that did not make the cut, the closest one to making it that did not, um, was original A, and in seventh place, McKenna, Henry McKenna. So not the bottled and bond Henry McKenna that we know that you know, skyrocketed in price. This is the 80 proof Henry McKenna. Interesting. 56 points. Steve, can you repeat number 11, please? I'm sorry. Number 11 was uh, original C. It is Ezra Brooks with 40 points. Um, and Steve, are they still sourcing that with, through Heaven Hill, or are they now making that themselves? Uh, the answer is kind of yes to both, depending on uh, what, how you look at it. They still uh, have sourced whiskey from Heaven Hill. That is drying up. They are distilling their own, and that should be out. I'm thinking probably in the next year, you will start seeing some of their original distillate. Right now, it's all their source stuff from Heaven Hill. So, so this, this is their 80 proof Heaven Hill sourced. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Correct. Or is it 90 proof? I think. I think it's 90 proof, but yeah. Anybody got that list? Want to post it in the chat? Yeah. I forgot to start writing it down. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I, I'm going to do a blog post on this, so uh, I'll, I'll, okay, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll send out an email to everybody about this, and it'll have you know all the stats and it kind of nice and neat where where you can kind of see them. Nice. So uh, again, I told you, and this is 100. There was not one change here, not one wow. single change from the, how they were ranked 
coming into this versus how they performed tonight. So that's crazy. I'll tell you the, the from six down to one. That, that, that was the winner of the last one, and that's going to win. That's that's how they uh, that's how they finished. So uh, the funny thing was too. Everyone said that uh, this is a, a funny note too. I guess um, everyone said that the 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 ones from um, the second group were better than the first. In reality, it looked like the first group actually outperformed the second group. Um, wow. Uh, uh, so, so overall, uh, oh. overall, uh, which is pretty wild. And again, it held up tonight. So it's interesting. So in sixth place, uh, the original D and now X Kentucky Tavern, Kentucky Tavern. So it was in the part of the first group in fifth place, old charter. Old Charter. The original K was part of uh, the second group, but now uh, Old Charter is in fifth place. What letter in the second group was it? Uh, in the second group, it was K. K. Old K. What was it in this group? In this, this group, it is Z. Z. What was it? Old Charter? Old Charter. The and next Kentucky group. Tavern was X? Yeah. Well, yes, correct. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Next up in fourth place, as we work our way downwards to first place, original J, uh, new Y, it is JTS Brown in fourth place. Oh, interesting. Fourth place, JTS Brown. There you go. They're bottled and bond or no? In bottled and bond, correct. Yep. Oh, wow. That was the original what? That was the original J. It is now... JTS Brown is V. V. Interesting. Wow. The new V. Wait, you said Y a second ago. Yeah, you did. I, oh, I apologize. It is actually V. V is the correct one. J. That makes sense. JTS Brown is V. Albert, you had me worried there. Sorry about that. Next up is Evan Williams, uh, which was the original E. Evan Williams is U in this one. So original E. And this is the bottle and bond, not the black label, the bottle and bond, white label. Okay. Comes in under 15 bucks. So. Yeah. Nice. That, that is in third place. And so that was white label? The white label. Yeah, correct. the bottle and bond. Yep. Correct. It is. Okay. In second place, I am incredibly impressed by this one. This one was not really on my radar. It feels like it's worth getting a bottle or two and having it around for friends that like cocktails and stuff like that. This might be a good one for that. Uh, I see the bottle right here. I'm going to grab it here. In second place, this guy, J.W. Dant, the bottled in bond, J.W. Dant. In second place. It's the old F. It is the new Y. Jay I've heard, I actually heard people talk about that and never had it. I, I'm surprised that this one outperformed JTS Brown, which uh, JTS Brown kind of has this little underground cult yeah. following, but uh, I, I, and I agree at drinking them side by side here, which you guys can go back and do that right and, now. And it's really solid as a mixer. That's the thing that sold me on putting it in a rank mm -hmm. mm -hmm. third. Very cool. That's cool. So our number one pick, our winner, this is the one that I took w. and uh, and I won at uh, my bourbon club. We had an under $20 night and everybody had to bring in and vote on it. It's a secret weapon uh, and I think it holds up. It obviously finished first in my bourbon club. It finished first in uh, in in or tonight. It finished first mm -hmm. the last time it did. It was the one that everyone was talking about that said that, that, uh, that would win this thing. It's G from last time we got together. And, yeah. uh, uh, and of course it is... W. Uh, it is W this time. It is very old Barton. Very old Barton. Oh, I have very old Barton bottled and bond. Uh, well, I don't know that they make bottled and bond anymore. It's a hundred proof. Very old Barton. Yeah, the hundred proof. Yeah, hundred proof. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. It, it, I, I've heard so many correct. people talk about it. Never had it. Never I can heard tell, it. I can tell why they're talking about it. Kevin Williams and JTS Brown. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's there you go. Crafted. Old so. Crow. What were you saying wow. there? I bring that one out and people are like, where is it? Where can I find it? What, what are you doing with it? And it's like 12 bucks. It's like 12 bucks. Yes. I, just, I just saw it at the liquor store today and almost picked it up and thought, nah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the bond art made it crafted now. 
So it's crap. There you go. Still at 100 proof because uh, they don't have the age in there. They don't have the four-year age in there anymore. Yeah. Right. They lost half the warehouse with the with the warehouse collapse. With the fire. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. The collapse. Uh, yes. I've yes. got two. I've got two cases of the bottle and bonded. Yeah. Okay. It See, looks Dan like prices are inflated here in Southern California because it oh. says it's seventeen dollars a bottle at Bevmo. <laughs> okay. Well, not bad. That's yeah. still cheap. Wow. It's still cheap. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty cheap though in Cali. It's twenty-four at Virginia ABC. Twenty-four. Wow. I thought the ABC always had the low prices. I thought that was one. That's, that's, the, yeah. that's the one seven five is twenty four. Ah, okay, <laughs> that, that makes sense. Then. Oh, wow. sorry, <laughs> I didn't look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a difference. So, so wow, so that's, what's that's, called, that's incredible. What's, called, that's, what's it called again? Very old Barton. Yeah. Very old Barton. The hundred proof. Yeah. Hundred proof. Yeah. They've got all kinds of them. They got 86. They got 80. Get the 100 proof. That's the one to get. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that's like a it's like a right. squat bottle, right? With like a yes. gold label. Yeah. Looks like yeah, it's a nice bottle. Bottom, definitely bottom shelf. But I was at a liquor store today and I bet they had a dozen bottles. Mm -hmm. Well, I've I've put up the crafted versus the uh bottle and bonded. I really cannot tell a difference. Okay. I've put the bottle side by side. Okay. Nice. So, yeah. so which letter was very old Barton? Cool. Very old Barton. Uh, very old Barton was W. Was W. Yep. In Maryland. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say in Maryland, uh, very old Barton is twenty dollars and ninety nine cents at yeah. the Montgomery County yeah, Liquor Store. Twenty ninety nine. Yep. Gosh darn. We That's can why get it for. Go across the line to DC. Mm -hmm. Or. Yeah. No, DC is more expensive usually. It's still a good twenty dollar bourbon, but you know when you can get it for twelve bucks, it's yeah, outstanding. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And we had the did we have the eighty proof? Is that what you said? No, we have the hundred proof. proof. Oh, we had the hundred. Yes. Which makes sense because we all said it tasted like yeah. real bourbon. Mm -hmm. A bourbon, right? Yeah. I just cannot believe that nothing changed from the last, from the last two times to this time. So, uh, you know, how they performed tonight was Kentucky Tavern got 35 points, Old Charter 37, JTS Brown 46, Evan Williams 87, JW Dant 91, and Barton 102. And that's exactly how they lined out uh, prior to that. That's incredible. But that's I had pretty my cool. List coming in here. So it stayed, stayed exactly the same. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. What's really cool is that if you visit the distillery of where they make very old Barton, they give you two samples. They introduce very old Barton as uh, your grandfather's bourbon, mm -hmm. which is quite cool. And then they do the 1970, let's see here, 1792, sorry. Okay. But that's the two samples you actually get on that tour if you're able to attend them. Yeah. And are they very, very different? Oh, yes. The uh, 1972 is very far different from. Oh. I mean, yeah. sorry. 1792. 1792. The 1792 is more of a weeder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So this was obviously, uh, you know, fun process to go through, and and I feel good about the results, and I, I think that our our best bourbon under fifteen dollars again suggested price as as we've heard prices vary around the country. So, but uh, you know, kind of uh, very old Barton one hundred proof. Yeah, get the very old Barton hundred proof. That's the one to get. I Very think good. I like everything about it. It does hold. This would hold up in a cocktail. It, it absolutely uh, is a sipper, and uh, it's one that you can enjoy. So, twelve dollars in the middle of California. Twelve dollars for the bottle at Bevmo in the middle of California. There you go. How much? Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Yeah. So. How far in the middle is that? <laughs> well, uh, okay. <laughs> when you live in Dolly Parton's armpit, you're uh, 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 it's uh, in Fresno. 
Oh, yeah, I have a lot of family out there. There you go. Yeah. Next time you go yeah. visit family, uh, do do a little yeah. shopping uh, at Bevmo apparently, and get you some very old. Very good. Very cool. Thanks, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Thanks yeah. a lot, guys, and uh, we're going to do this again. We're, we're going to stick to bottles and bonds next time. So we're, that's going to be the next project that we do to tr try to figure out what's the best bottle and bond. We'll do it three parts, same thing. So we'll have 12 of them, uh, same, same exact Is JTS thing. Brown re-endering? It might. It might. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, Steve, just I'm all in. Mm -hmm. Steve, and just don't do it during snow time. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think I think we're kind of past no time. We've, we've got them all booked from January and February, so yeah, we're getting there. So, and Steve, uh, I think this is the reason I'm missing out on some stuff. Yeah, it just shows how good a job you did. That's all. Well, thank Fantastic you. Job. Yeah. Thank you. Like this was a lot of fun for me too. Like I said, the first two times I went blind with you guys. This one, I was watching it as as it's going through, and you guys are talking, and I'm like, you know, like when we get to X Kentucky Tavern, I'm like. I know this one performed pretty well. It was the lowest one to make it in there. You know, just barely made it last time. And, uh, you know, I'm wondering how is it going? And again, you have a little discussion. I don't exa exactly know how we're doing, but um, it ended up playing out exactly how we thought. So that's cool. cool. So Steve, I, I, I'll, I'll re-recommend. You did the top of the bottom shelf. I think you should do the bottom of the top shelf. The worst bourbon under 50 bucks, uh, over 50 bucks. The worst bourbon under 50 <laughs> <laughs> There'd be a lot of good genders for that one, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. You might not get anybody that wants to actually pay for that, though. True, true. Yeah, yeah. I'm let's, out. <laughs> let's, let's pay a lot so we can get, drink bad bourbon. <laughs> there, yeah. Tell you, there are some hitters just in Bottle and Bond because they range. Like, yeah. you can get. Well, what really I'm going to try like to do crops. on the on the bottle bond so because so many craft has come out with bottle and bond, it's probably not going to be theirs because again that's so regional and, and you can't buy them on a national basis. It doesn't it doesn't help to you know folks and you know, we got plenty of people in California here. It doesn't help them if this is oh you can only buy it if you're in Indiana. Well, okay, um, let's. Uh, I'm going to try to find ones that are on national basis. I'll try to get the, the what I think are the top twelve. I'll talk to some people, not you guys because you guys will be drinking it, but I'll talk to some other folks and, and we'll put together a list of twelve. I'll pick those up and uh, we'll, we'll we'll try to figure out the best na nationwide bottle and bond. So that'll be fun. I can, uh, I can pass you the details of uh, what we just did with Bourbon Society, bottle and blonde blind tasting. Okay. I'll let you know the uh, winner and runner up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, and, you know, if we're, if we're doing it on a national basis, I, I think that we'll, you can pretty well kind of start figuring out the list, but that's okay. Uh, Cause we're going to do it all on, on the blind. So it's cool. Very cool. So. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye on the official part of this. I'll stick around if anybody wants to talk or chat, but the meeting part of it is over, and so I'll say goodbye and stop the recorder. We did have a couple people that couldn't make it tonight, so we'll provide this to them.